Hi, I'm Debanjan Chakravarti of the British Council and I'm in conversation with Dr. Martin Weddell of Leeds University. Welcome, Martin. Thanks. And thank you so much for your time. Uh, you had three very busy days at the conference. Um, what do you think, Martin, is the value of a conference like this? Well, as, as I, I think I've probably mentioned to you before, it's so unusual for there to be a conference for teacher educators, and particularly teacher educators in state education. And given that the bulk of English learners in India, as in everywhere else, are in state education systems, the relative neglect of the role of teacher educators within the whole ELT system is, is I think, a grave mistake and something that this conference is one of the rare attempts to do something about. Uh, the theme of this conference, Martin, was diversity. Uh, how does that resonate with you uh, in your uh, professional context? And do you think that uh, we quite managed to capture the diversity in terms of representation that you had witnessed at this conference? I think acknowledging diversity in the title of a conference is a very welcome change to the implicit assumption in many settings that there is no diversity or that diversity can be swept under the carpet. Um, and in terms of the range both of professional backgrounds and geographical backgrounds of the participants, I think this conference has done a very good job on uh, living up to its title. I mean, the range of uh, professional backgrounds that I've encountered seems to be from teachers from really quite distant lands or remote, remote parts of the country, teachers and or teacher educators from really quite distant parts of the country, and from multiple countries. I mean, for example, today at lunch I had, I had uh, lunch with an Iraqi, a Syrian, a Bhut Bhutanese and an Afghani who I was very surprised to encounter surprised but delighted to encounter um, and in the range of uh, topics in the sessions which uh, range from in some ways more more conventional conventional topics such as such as evaluation which you might find at any conference of this kind to to for me the very interesting discussion about the role of English in the life of the Dalit community here in, in India and its possible potential to uh, help them escape the roles that have been thrust upon them by becoming proficient in English and so no longer being uh, stereotyped by, their, by their, their language and their position. Um. The theme of diversity, does that sort of resonate uh, with you uh, in your own immediate uh, professional context? Well, very much so. For the sort of research that I'm involved in, um, which has to do with the uh, implementation of, of educational change in TESOL, which is occurring not just in India, but everywhere, everywhere in the world. The recognition of and consideration of and incorporation of that recognition into the planning and implementation of um, ELT curriculum innovations. I mean, it's, it's absolutely critical that we are willing to acknowledge the complexity that diversity brings because it's so easy to pretend that everywhere is the same, that all teachers are the same, that all right. classrooms are the same. Right. But then we don't get anywhere. Right. Yeah. Um, any uh, particular session that stands out for you, Martin, in this uh, particular conference? Well, I think there were two, two sessions in particular that stood out. One, one was this uh, Goddess of English session uh, related to, to mm. the Dalit community. Yeah. Uh, the notion that you know English could represent such a 
powerfully positive um, means of re-identifying oneself, mm. I found very, well, quite, I'm moving really. Right. Um, and, and it's quite different from uh, your uh, own academic position about the uh, possible links between language and development, isn't it, in some yeah. ways? Uh, yeah, very. I'd never, I mean, it had never, it had never, uh, well, it had never crossed my mind, actually, that, that English for, well, yes, for individuals within any community, mm. one, I, I, I understand that English mm. has a potential to lead to uh, an escape. And I mean, I met someone just, just this morning from, from Bihar who mm. had uh, you know, mortgaged all he possessed to send his, and who was saying for him, this con conference was the first time that he had ever felt comfortable about stand, well, standing up, not in a public forum, but just interacting in mm. English with other people and how right. wonderful, mm. what a wonderful experience that had been for right. him and how for his son, uh, English had mm. enabled him to escape from the countryside mm. of Bihar mm. and you know, to, to be an actuary in, in uh, Bombay and right. you know, with prosperity assured forevermore. Right. Um, and the, yes, the other, the other uh, main session, well, the other session that I found very striking was the, the one, the CPD, CPD competition winners session right on a looking I mean it was the absolute yeah. micro the absolute micro of the one to one yes. yeah at the importance with. of what a teacher could do in a one to one setting with with uh, with an individual with a, a yeah. disabled individual yeah uh, and how the teacher's personal efforts right. and personal empathetic empathetic feelings right. really had made a huge di had enabled right. her to make a huge difference to, to this to this right. rather isolated right. child you know. right. Right. Um, yeah I mean overall I, th I think that the yeah the the highlighting of diversity mm in the title of and many of the papers represented mm. in this conference is an enormously positive and necessary move yeah. towards a broader acknowledgement of the complexity of what ELT f for everyone yeah. inevitably entails and although there's still a lot of questions about whether ELT for everyone is actually desirable or necessary um, since at the moment we all seem to assume it is mm. then the more we acknowledge the diversity of it and, right. and the and plan with that diversity in mind mm. the, mm. the the more chance there is that it will perhaps mm. begin to provide the right. positive benefits that are, are, are hoped for yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Martin, for talking to us. And it was a real pleasure meeting you at this conference for me personally, because I've heard so much about you from your students, uh, many oh, you know, the Hornby long-term scholars, right. such as Kuheli and Kalyan and Samatmika, who is now a colleague. So right. uh, it really is Well, it was like, it's been pleasure. lovely to yeah. discover how many of them were here. Mm. And, and yesterday, actually, to have a phone call, a phone chat with Kuheli for the first time right. since since she left. Right. And so yeah. yes, I mean I you know I think the the ongoing relationships that such conf that or rather the reinforcement mm. of relationships mm. that such conferences enable mm. is a, is also a very important feature okay. for well for both for me and mm. and for others I think mm. who 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 meet each other. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much Martin. Thanks.